So we all know how life can get busy and sometimes get in the way of our goals, even in education. But one Tampa Bay area mom is proving it is never too late to go back to school. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell with her story. Erin Taylor found her calling in education. So let's try purple. She's a medical behavioral assistant at New Heights Elementary, working with students with special needs. But her path to get here looked a little different. I actually started as a mom in the car line, and I was like, you know, I've been a stay at home mom for 11 years. It's time for me to get back out into the real world. I was like, well, I have a problem. I don't have my high school diploma. A few years ago, Taylor started working in the cafeteria at New Heights, where her kids are students. Still, she tells me she wanted to do more. I was like, there's more of a purpose for me. I got to find it. I decided it's time to get my GED. And then I found out that there was an awesome program through Pinellas County Schools that they'll actually help me get that desire that I'm looking for. That journey took time and dedication. I went two times a week, and then I did an hour each night, study, 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 kept it together, mommed, wiped, did all of that. But the hard work paid off. On Thursday, Taylor will walk across the stage at St. Petersburg High School to get her diploma, 23 years after leaving school. I get to have both my kids watch me walk across the stage completely proud excuse me it's been complete blessing that my family was so supportive this whole family knit here at new heights always pushing me pinellas county schools says last school year 313 high school age students and adults earned their geds and nearly 150 of them will take part in this week's countywide graduation ceremony proving it's never too late to follow a dream i was like oh i'm almost 42 really like you're gonna go back to school yeah I'm, I went back to school, and you can go back to school too. In Pinellas County, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.